Hello and welcome back to Adventureland. I've got Captain Jack Sparrow with me and today I'm going to finish the build exercise for this toy box. And as you can see I'm up in Tarzan's treehouse which we built last time. I really like how this turned out. It's just a really fun place to visit and explore. But we'll get down here to ground level and we'll take a shortcut. <laughs> All right, I've already taken the liberty of placing some plant clusters as you can see. So let's take a moment and look at these and I'll review where these are. I put these down ahead of time just to save room. This one's kind of centered underneath the edge of the treehouse piece up here, I'm trying to get centered on it. <laughs> but the center of it's lined up with the left edge of that orange treehouse piece up there and then it's lined up kind of this way and if you don't get this exact it's not that big a deal and you can kind of look at the texture on the terrain below it to see where to place it but the next one is set up over here and oriented like this and then this tree piece is set up over here on this edge oriented like you see there this one's kind of hanging half off of the block and then this one's lined up as you see there with a couple more over here and three more right here so these three here are going to be styled to be the pirates theme I'll apply that Oops, I did not mean to delete that. <laughs> hate when that happens. We're going to pick that up, put it down. And that only sits in there one way. So that'll do. All right, style, apply. and style and apply. There we go. So those three will be the pirates theme. These back here will be the Briar Ridge terrain. I'll apply that and you're going to do that for each of these other ones that I just put down. So all of these And these actually, sorry, these actually should be the pirate theme, not the plains pirate. These two here should be pirate, like that. So these three and these two, and then the rest of these are Briar Ridge. So I'll skip that one for a moment, customize that. And then we'll customize each of these. Uh, oops, wrong way. And that creates the nice barrier. And I'm going to hold off on these two for the moment. That creates a nice barrier there just to kind of hide the edge of the world. And I've also placed a few over here. So let's look at these. This one, the right edge of the tree is lined up with the right edge of the building behind it and it's sitting half on and half off that block. This one is sitting right on the edge of the block lined up with the edge of the terrain scene. This one is right on the edge of the block. You can see the orientation of these with that little sprig. These two are kind of right on the border between these two buildings back here and all of these are right on the ground so like that and you're going to style each of these to be the Briar Ridge theme as well I'm going to skip that last one there on the end And just like on the Main Street USA um, build and the uh, other toy boxes that we've done, 
this just creates a nice uh, backing behind the buildings so that when you're walking down in the park it looks like the world continues on beyond the buildings and I just really like the way that looks makes your world feel a little bit bigger and more complete because you normally wouldn't just have the buildings sitting there with nothing behind them So as you're back over here, that just adds a nice border behind those buildings. And by setting them on the ground, you can even be up in the treehouse and they won't look like they're floating. So that's good. Alright, the next thing we're going to do is put in the entrance to Frontierland. So we're going to come up to Building Sets Group 3 and we have these Main Street USA storefronts. And the first one we're going to put down is this red brick storefront over here. We're going to line this up with the edge of that building just like that. And that's the uh, front of the Cajun style restaurant. And I put this piece down earlier just so that we could uh, get to these pieces in this drawer a little quicker if we needed to. So we're going to put a nice little fenced-in area for the outdoor dining area here. And I think there's four of them. Let me just double check here. One, two, three, four, yeah. Followed by the corner. And then we'll continue this down a little ways here. I don't have to go too far because again this is going to just be for show. The actual building is going to be in uh, frontier land. So I'm back up to building sets group three and we'll pick up the little outdoor dining tables. This, of course, again, is the entrance to New Orleans Square. I'm just going to put a few of these in here. You don't really want to do a lot of them. So like that. Okay, so as you're coming out of Adventureland and you're heading into here, kind of looks like you're heading into the edge of New Orleans Square, and that's good. And on this side of the street is the entrance to the Pirates of the Caribbean building, which is why I have Jack Sparrow with me today. But our first building here, we're going to put about a block off the edge of that plant cluster, so two little nudges. We're going to put two of them down, and these aren't the buildings that are actually in the Frontierland toy box, but we'll put them down there. They're just kind of around the corner there, just to kind of block off the view and the fact that it doesn't actually continue. And then we need this uh, Main Street white deck. We're going to put this on the front of these buildings like that. And so that will be, when we get to Frontierland, the entrance to the Pirates of the Caribbean. And now that we have these in here, we can finish styling the rest of these trees. So we can go ahead and style this one. We, you can see why we had to wait, because the bounding box jumps into that corner of the building. And the same with these. So now as we're down here, oops, <laughs> sorry for spinning that camera around so much. Ah! <laughs> so now as we're down here and we're coming through this area, we look like we're, the park is continuing onward and about this point we'll be going into Frontierland. 
Okay, just a couple of little finishing touches and we'll be done today. This is a little bit shorter video. So over here, we're going to put in the hot dog stand and you find that up under buildings. That's sitting right over here and I want to put this over this way. Let me get my screenshot here to make sure I orient this right. So we're about on the middle of the front edge of the uh, roof piece there, the green straw roof. And this way, about like that. That should be good. And yeah, maybe a little bit over. Doesn't really matter. And we're going to put one more inside this area. So right up against the edge of the building there. And, uh, oops, I'm sorry, this isn't the hot dog stand. You could make it the hot dog stand, I suppose. But what this really is, is the uh, stand from Inside Building Sets Group 2. Sorry about that, I picked the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't look closely at my screenshot initially. The one I want is right there. That's the one I want. So this is going to sit in here about like that. That's the hot dog stand I want. It's no wonder this wasn't quite lining up where I wanted it to be. That's where I want this to be. Right there like that. And if you remember from the playthrough, I had a little bit of logic set up with that. But we'll go ahead and do that afterward uh, near the end. I'm not going to do any logic today. The last thing, I don't believe I ever talked about putting the roof on over here. So these are all, if I pick this up, this is all the small, thin terrain block that's on here. And of course it's styled to use the jungle theme like all the rest of these. So that's the King Louis Ruins. And you can see I've got a grid of four of these across and two deep. And they go right up to the edge of the building over here. Just like you see there. And you want to put these on, of course, before you style this tree. Or probably even that one. So you put those on. You leave this all open. So that this, you can kind of see out into the world. And with that, the build exercise for this toy box is done. Next time, we'll hook up the logic for the Jungle Cruise ride. Until then, thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel before you go, if you haven't already done that. Take care!